Okay, the question is snap spins or snap turns. So the, uh, the idea is you're gonna take it from a spot like a hover, like a side hover. I like the side hover because it's very stable in a side hover. Then snap like 360 back to that spot and catch that hover again. Snap, stop, snap, stop. The snap is really no different than any other turn or spin. You t simply take your handles and rotate them in opposite directions. This thumb coming back is gonna give you that right wing forward and the left wing forward is going to give you an inverse. So it makes those wings fly forward and reverse. And very quick. Reverse. Turn. Snap. Stop. If you want to make it sharper than that, you can snap it. Counter snap quickly. And then catch the hover. Snap. Counter snap. Catch the hover. In light winds, uh, I, I've usually got a pulling motion because I'm floating it, so I have one handle back. So in this case, I usually force a spin, and I do that by accelerating uh, the handle. So, and the one I usually accelerate is going to be the one that's out in front of me, because during the spin, I want those handles together. So from a hover position, I yank, let's say I want to yank that wing forward. I go in forward, and I pull it back. And now I've got that spin position set and my handles are even, which is going to give me a spin on center. If I start here and yank on the back handle to force the spin, it's going to be a slide spin, so you're going to send up, you're going to end up with an off-center turn or spin. So that's why I usually pull the hand to extend it out, go forward with it, yank it back, the handles are close, finish the spin, and then go back and catch the hover again. That's really the goal there. So um, you can spin the wings and you can jam and you can force them on either side. You can force the wing to fly forward, you can force the wing to fly in reverse, you can yank the wing in reverse, you can yank the wing forward, or you can do both at the same time. That's how you really jam it. So you'll see people do that. So this pulling motion is just to accelerate it uh, to make it spin even faster. So I'm in light winds, so I would probably accelerate in these conditions. If the winds would pick up a couple miles an hour, I would just rotate the handles. I would just go spin and then catch it. Spin, catch it. The real trick with this is the timing, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to finish that spin and then stop it at that same side hover, let's say. So from side hover, snap, spin, stop on side hover. You don't want to go over, you don't want to go under. It's just a timing thing, takes a little bit of practice. But the real trick is get set, Throw your spin and then catch it. Let's try it. From the side hover, pull on the bottom handle. So I took that bottom wing and I threw it in a forward position, which threw a, a, a forward turn, it made that bottom wing fly up and around. I could have thrown it in reverse and made the, the bottom wing fly in reverse. Let's do that. In reverse, reverse, pull it. See how that force is? So the window's almost zero, so we're getting light on the conditions. But that's the basic idea. So there's a lot of possibilities here. You can throw one forward, you can throw one in reverse, you can yank it while you do that move. You can do them both. And then yank, I usually yank the one that's extended because it's gonna pull that handle in and cause an on-center spin. If I pull the one that's back, it's going to even cause more of an off-center spin. So I usually pull the wing that's out. If I'm just hovering straight up, the handles are even, so it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, then if you want to force it from there, you want to yank it to force it, but then you want your hands to be back together during the spin, so you get an on-center spin. So like I said, the main thing is probably the timing. Let's see if we can do another one. Hover. I'm going to go the bottom wing because there's not much wind, so it's easier to go the bottom wing in reverse and then catch it. So I'm doing a very slow yank. Reverse that bottom wing, pull it back, and then put it, and then go back and catch that hover. Reverse that bottom wing, pull it, and then go back and catch the hover. Okay, I got some twists, so I'm going to go the other way. So let's go forward to the bottom wing. So now the wind's coming up, so I don't really have to pull. Bottom wing forward. Uh, top wing back, spin, catch. Bottom wing forward, top wing reverse. 
lost my wind on that one. Bottom wing forward, give it a tug, boom, and then catch the hover. That's the trick. Give it a little pop and then catch that hover. It's all in the timing. All right, do that a try. Let me know how you do.